Here's a Douglas fir fence post I found in the barn last week. It isn't great bow wood. It's cracking, the bugs have gotten to it, and fur is not as dense as I would like. In the last video, we split the post in half and used one piece to make a wide short bow. Today, we'll split the other half again to make a second bow from this post, a narrow long bow. When we're done, we'll stack the two bows at the handle to make a more powerful, Penobscot style double bow. I joined the billets for this bow with a Z splice. For more details on how to do this at home, check out the video description. Last time we made the bow in a flat sawn orientation, with the back of the bow carved down to a single growth ring. For this bow, we split the billets in a rift quarter sawn orientation. The angle of the growth rings in the board is not what matters. A good board only needs to have wood fibers that run end to end as parallel as possible with the face of the board. Here's how I carved tip overlays. I made these from juniper branches and glued them with common gel super glue. This longbow will shoot on its own, but it will be much better in a double bow with its twin. The short bow has a higher draw weight, but lacks a full draw length for accurate shooting. This longbow lacks power, but has a nice long draw. Together, both bows will make the decent target shooter, but neither one alone could ever be. This is only a very simple example of the Penobscot double bow design. With better wood and some design changes, a much more powerful example could be made. Normally I wouldn't look twice at a rotting piece of Douglas fir. Without the double bow, I wouldn't have been able to make an accurate target shooter from such a short fence post. Nothing comes free in bow making. These bows need constant adjustment and there's a lot more to go wrong compared to a simple long bow. To tell you the truth, I can't wait to go back to simple designs and my favorite bow woods, like hickory, elm, and hornbeam. These bows represent the beginning of a long road towards complex bow designs. A curious look at the cutting edge of the past. <laughs>